When an avalanche hits, you only got seconds to react and an airbag could actually make the difference that keeps you on the surface. Welcome to the Essential 4 sessions. I'm Jackie, Product Manager for Avalanche Safety and we introduce you to the four essential avalanche tools, the transceiver, shovel, probe and airbags which you need on your backcountry adventures. In this episode, together with mountain guide and freeride athlete Nadine Wallner, we will have a look on how airbags actually work, what to consider when choosing one, and how to prepare them properly before you head out. The airbags are actually the only item of the Essential 4 that can either prevent a full burial or can significantly reduce the burial depth. This is why it already has become a key for our avalanche safety gear you should always bring when you head out into the backcountry. By the end of this episode, you understand why you should wear an airbag pack, what different airbag systems are there, and also how to handle, care and deploy an airbag. Quick heads up, this video is a great intro, but it shouldn't be any substitute for hands-on avalanche training. Always practice before heading out. So let's get started. So why use an avalanche airbag? Well, it's simple. An airbag can increase your survival in an avalanche. Because by adding 150 liters of added volume, you are more likely to stay on the surface of the moving snow and reducing the risk of being fully buried. The idea is based on a principle called inverse segregation. What this means is that bigger objects or objects with more volume, like an airbag with 150 liters, tend to rise to the top with a moving surface, while smaller ones will go to the bottom. And this is why an airbag can be a complete game changer. It is not a guarantee, but it is another added layer of protection. One that can decrease the burial depth or can even prevent a full burial. Because less burial depth means a faster rescue, less time spent shoveling and increase your chance of survival. You need a lot of energy to fill the 150 liters of your airbag balloon within seconds. That either works canister based with cartridges so mechanical systems, or there are also electronical systems on the market. The Mammut Removable Airbag System 3.0 is a mechanical system based on canisters. Also, since it's removable, you can interchange the system between different airbag packs. The Mammut Avalanche airbags are designed for different activities in the backcountry. And it starts by knowing what you need. So let's start with the pack size. If you're usually free riding in lift access terrain, or if you go on small touring days, or if you really know how to pack, a 20 to 22 liter version is the perfect option for you. You still fit all your essentials, but you have the perfect unrestricted fit with the jacket fit and can go out skiing and really enjoying the descent. For longer day trips, or if you also want to go on multi-day trips, you might want to think about a 30 liter option because it gives you a little bit more space to carry the additional gear but you can still with the compression straps strap it down and go on smaller adventures. If you ski mountaineering and need to carry even more additional gear or if you're a professional working in the mountains during the winter time you maybe need even more and want to opt for a 30 to 40 liter option. Beyond the volume of your airbag, also the fit is really important and it also depends a little bit on what volume of airbag you choose but also what activities you choose and what usually is your regular preference. So first of all we have a jacket fit, especially with our smaller models like the Eiger Free for example. This fit is more close to your body, especially on your shoulders, so you really have that unrestricted movement. When you go to the bigger packs on our portfolio starting at 30 liters, you will have a regular fit. That's because here we opted for focusing on an ideal load transfer with a U-frame so you can pack even heavy loads without really feeling it. 
Additionally, also really have a look on the different back length we have in our portfolio because depending on your torso length, you need a shorter or a longer version. Additional to the size and the fit, we also got our features. All airbags from Mammut come with specific features so you can go on any kind of backcountry adventure. They have different attachment points for your skis or for your snowboard. They come with additional attachments for your poles or ice axes. There's a helmet holder as well, so you can attach your helmet. And all packs, except the Eiger Free, also have a bright orange avalanche safety compartment where you can store your probe and your shovel shaft, as well as the shovel blade for quick access. So, to summarize, Mammut has a lot of different airbag options available. So make sure to choose the pack that fits the volume, fit and also features that you need. And have fun out in the backcountry with it. An avalanche airbag can be a life-saving tool, but only if it's installed and used correctly. So let's have a look on how you get it ready for the season. I'm joined by Nadine, thanks for coming. And let's have a look at the basics. First of all, if you buy a Mammut airbag, it usually already comes with the system and you just have to buy your cartridge and screw it in fully before you head out for the season. Our Mammut airbag system is removable, so you can switch it to another Mammut airbag. Just follow the installation steps in the user manual. Before heading out for the season, Take a few minutes to inspect your backpack, so visible damages uh, or like signs of wear, like um, faded fabric of UV exposure. Really important weigh your cartridge before the season without the cap, so it's in the correct range. This one is good. Also check the handle if it's still good. And uh, every system comes with this test tool trigger where you can test like how to pull and trigger the system. Should sound like this. And after that, the most important thing is screwing the cartridge fully. And that means it should be seamless to the system where you screw it in. The end is a little bit harder to screw and then you keep going, keep going until it's fully screwed in. So it's seamless here and you're ready to go. Fit is just as important as function. So adjust your backpack step by step. So adjusting the shoulder straps, secure the chest strap, most important, get the leg loop, lift the hip belt tight on you, so you're safe in case of losing it if you're in an avalanche. And uh, everything should feel tight, but still free to move. As soon as you're in the back country, the hand should be out, so it's ready when it's needed. If you're caught in an avalanche, don't wait, you have to act fast. Reach across your body with one hand, if possible, with the second hand as well. It inflates in seconds. It creates, it creates extra volume so you stay on the surface of the snow. Once it's inflated, take care of yourself with your hands you might be uh, you might be able to like gain a breathing space in front of your head and uh, if you're buried under the snow that might help and give you a few minutes more so after the test deployment make sure to follow the steps on deflation and folding which you can find in our user manual but if you actually have triggered your airbag in an avalanche please send in your airbag to Mahmoud for inspection because damage isn't always visible and your safety could be compromised. Thanks so much for joining me Nadine and showing us on how to use an airbag. So let's quickly recap everything. First of all, an airbag can give you added protection and increase your chance of survival when coming into an avalanche. Second, you should always check your system and inspect it properly, especially before the season starts 
And most importantly, you should always make sure that you have your airbag fitted correctly to you and you practice the deployment so you're confident for when it counts. The airbag is only one of the essential four, so be sure to check out also our other episodes on transceivers, shovels and probes. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We're here to help. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there, enjoy the backcountry and see you in the next episode.